All right, it does seem like the rules kind of keep changing on vaccinations. Plus, we got word this week that Johnson & Johnson's single-dose vaccination could get approval soon. Lots of developments to talk about this week. Uh, to help answer your questions, I'm joined by our medical expert this morning, Dr. David Winter from Baylor Scott & White Health. Dr. Winter, good to see you. It's been a while. It's been a while. Good to have you back, Sonia. So, you know, I'm just looking at these lines and I'm getting a ton of messages from people entirely confused about what to do. I'm 65, I'm 75, I have type 1 diabetes, I have type 2 diabetes. What, uh, what do you think of what you're watching happening right now? Sonia, it's a huge frustration for patients, for citizens, everyone out there, and it's a huge frustration for physicians. I'd love to give that vaccine to all my patients, but the supply just is not there. Now, I have people that say, well, all my friends are getting one. Why can't I get one? Well, we know actually of this week, only 3% of Texans, for that matter, 3% of all Americans have gotten a vaccine. So lots of folks have not gotten vaccinated. More vaccines to come. But for right now, we're going to plead, please be patient. We know that masking, distancing, disinfecting works. We've been doing that. Keep doing that. Vaccines will come. We've got a lot wanting to go though, Sonia, to get enough vaccines for everybody. Yeah, I'm encouraging patients. Look, I've been trying to help my parents as well, so uh, I'm encouraging them to practice patience during this whole thing. Uh, and especially, you know, you mentioned the masks and distancing and, and hand washing. That is also important, even if you get the first dose. Between the first and second dose, now I'm hearing about people who get COVID as they're waiting for that second dose. I've seen that too, indeed. So the vaccine takes, we think, probably six to eight weeks to work. That's with two doses. Some say maybe earlier, but even with that, it's 95% effective. So 5% of folks, it still may get COVID. So we still need to keep masking, distancing, disinfecting for a long time until enough people in this country either get the, the virus or get a vaccine. That's probably months and months away. And Dr. Winter, what is the latest on the variant strain that we've been uh, hearing about? Hmm. Yeah, just this week we heard that variant strain in England is now affecting two thirds of all the new COVID cases there. Lots of people getting it. Now, the good news is the vaccine seems to work for that. But we need to remember that vaccines mutate. They change all the time. That's just what they do. Every year the flu vaccine is different because the flu virus changes. This one's gonna keep changing. The, f the good news about all this, though, to me, is that this new M messenger RNA production technique for vaccines, it's really slick and they can change it really quickly. So if we need to, we can change. But for right now, for what we know, the vaccine works. So get a vaccine when you can. Yeah, when you can. Um, I read a really interesting Washington Post article, which I've actually tweeted out as well, that says flu numbers are down, RSV numbers are down. So in terms of other viruses, um, what we're seeing is you know, that the masks and the social distancing and the hand washing um, and the protections that we've been sort of taking against COVID are actually helpful, but that there might also be a rebound later. Oh, I'm wondering what your thoughts might be on this or what you've seen in the hospital. Well, there's no question that the masking, the distancing, the disinfecting your hands, that works for all airborne infections. So last year we saw the flu uh, epidemic started to take off in January and then we started masking for COVID and it went away. We've seen less cold viruses this spring, summer, this fall than we usually do. So this stuff works. So, you know, I don't know about uh, the rebound about that because the rebound means that you're gonna actually be exposed to more viruses, but as long as we're masking and distancing, we're good for flu, for colds and for COVID right now. Okay, Dr. David Winter, thank you so much for your time and insight as always. I'm sure we'll have more questions for you next week. <laughs> thank you, Sonia. Be well, stay safe. Thank you, likewise.